welcome to my channel today i thought i'd do you like a little mini haul um of some gardening items that i got from pound stretcher and poundland and they went so paramount then um i thought i'd give you like the budget end of prices of getting some stuff that's for your garden because god getting stuff for your garden can be quite expensive and i've like shopped around and i found the cheapest um products in the, them two main shops so the first item i'm going to show you is this which is i don't know this is from pound stretch actually the first ones i'm going to show you it's a steak windmill now i thought i'd get yellow because it'd be nice for the trap the bees and i've got a fairy garden outside so i'll be putting all things like this in my two different fairy gardens i've got two actually um i'll show you what that looks like outside so i thought that was beautiful this is one pound 49 so that's that the first item and i'm doing a different scenery this time so standing up and you can see behind me the next item i've been searching this everywhere on ebay and this is the cheapest i found it which i'll just check my receipt was three i need to check it i'm saying 3.99 do you know i picked up the wrong receipt yes 3.99 i don't know what the other thing is but yes it is this bird feeder and it attracts a wide variety of birds, easy to move and reattach, provides a sheltered eat feeding area. I you stick this onto your window, I'm going to be sticking it on my patio door at the back. So I can't wait to try that. And I'll show you what that looks like as well. Three ninety nine, and they're selling per but per bird seed at the moment for one pound forty nine down to one pound sixteen. That's like you get a big massive bag of um, one kilogram of bird feed so i'll be putting that in the window bird feed i can't wait to try it out i hope some birds go up there and also this which is 3.39 you can get a fairy that you could paint or you can get this house i'm gonna have i thought i'd get this to put in my fairy garden i need to correct myself as well actually the bird feeder i have checked my receipt and it was 4.49 i could have sworn it was 3.99 but it says here 4.49 So that was a bit disappointing. But anyway, it's still cheap. So yeah, I've got this. Can't wait to try this. And then the next item is some black tarpaulin. Now you always need this with your weeding in or cutting bushes down. You don't want all the bits to go everywhere. I need this for my shed roof because my shed roof is collapsing. I need to protect it. So I'm gonna put this on top. This was $3.99. So that is a good bargain. From Power Stretcher, you can get this in green and black, by the way. Now I'll show you the Poundland items. All right, now for the Poundland items. One is, I knew I dropped it. One is the fairy garden door. Now I've heard a lot of Poundland, Poundlands are doing the fairy garden doors that you can paint and decorate yourself, but I can't find it in mine. So I've just had to go with this one. And I'm going to use that in my fairy garden. This is, let me double check, I've got the price right on this. For some Poundland items, they're not exactly a pound. I just want to check the fairy door. Yeah, it is a pound. And then they're doing some more fairy items for your fairy gardens. They've got the taxi, a pound. It's quite heavy, actually. That's going to go in my fairy garden. Not the fairy drives a taxi, but that's the thought. Um, I've also got this like flower pot thing for a pound from a fairy garden. A little waterfall, which I thought was lovely. That's a pound. And then I've also got a telephone box as well from Poundland. I thought it was great. Look at that. And then also a clock. These are all a pound, obviously. And then the little mini bird bath, which is really sweet. Then um, I'll show you this one next. A flipping fairy that's solar powered and you stick the stake in the ground and obviously switch it on charge it up and the fairy flickers i've also got a butterfly one and i'll show you both these video both of these as well when they're up um i should take out the box so you can see show you any of it oh that's the size of the fairy so i'm gonna go a bit mad with my fairy garden the only thing is don't keep this stuff out all year round because especially the pot stuff, um, they do grow after a while, so keep them, put them away for winter. Next item is this I've got because I know my grandson 
when he comes into my garden. Um, he loves all these little things that flicker around. So I've got this especially just to give him. And he can put it in his garden. And then this, because I've got to do some weedy when the weather gets nicer. Try and weed. Um, I don't know what it's called actually. Two in one cultivator and hoe. So I'll be able to get the weeds up and also do a bit of digging as well. That was a pound. Or was it a pound? Let me double check. Do you know you're just not 100% sure certain things are? Yes. I think I've got the wrong item here. I thought this was a pound stretch item. Also for the fairy garden, we've got this um, other little bird bath. I forgot to show you that I bought this last week. So you've got like a flower one and a leaf one, two different ones. So that's good. And then I also picked up last week this house. It is a bit chipped at the end. I didn't check that properly. Uh, make sure this is tucked in the winter time as well. This was a pound, I think. Yes, two, this was a pound. And then also I got the ground lights, which I got last year and they've lasted me even in the winter. These have withstood the winter. So I got one each, a pound each. That's them. Of my garden items. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a like and um, subscribe and click the notification bell at the bottom of the screen. Oh, you've got to excuse my hair. It's ready to be done again. I tried to go for the messy bun look, but a little bit more like Nanny McVie. So, hope you enjoyed the video once again and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.